Hey guys, I hope you're doing good today. Oh, I can't wait to get back to doing lives. Um, of course, my duck mask got COVID again. So I had it last summer and it was horrible. I literally thought I was going to die. This time, it's not as bad. I don't have the rash on like my hands and my feet, but it's what my doctor calls like long COVID. So I'm going to have chest issues and sinus issues for a, a while. Like I've been sick. Holy, how long now? Well, since my grandma passed, it's been, what, two weeks? Maybe a little bit longer? It's a, it's enough. It's it's too much. Um, ugh. Anyways, I just, I poor pity anybody who ever gets this virus. Some people are okay. They just get a cold and they're done. But no, of course, I, I think it's because I have asthma as well. And I'm always getting sick, like with pneumonia, bronchitis, sinus infections, um, strep throat, like you name it, I have it. Every year I've got something. It's ridiculous. But anyways, I'm going to stop whining. I just want you to know I'm still here. That's why I'm trying to do videos every day. Because I'm not as bad as it was last time. So I'm going to put out videos. I just, I can't talk for a long time. Like my throat hurts every day. Okay, anyways, I just wanted to read you this. This was posted two days ago. And then I'm going to show you all the posts this crazy jerk did without a crystal ball. Because today's the day the happy shiny people came out the documentary that she was booted out of from Amazon. Okay. So this was two days ago. And this is the post. I told you Ginger's visit was propaganda. Yeah, but you're not right in the head. For one, this family is very close. True, right? They are very close. I do not think they do things like KJ says, uh, to use it as propaganda. They're a very close loving family. They really are. There may be things I don't like about them, but I'm not going to sit there and shit on them like she does. Like what she says, magically, two days before the docuseries launches, the Duggars have updated their blog with all kinds of propaganda. How is it propaganda if it's fucking true? How is it propaganda when they are a loving family and they're not doing... The docuseries has come out today. It has nothing to do with their so-called propaganda. People are going to see it. So that's not trying to take away from the docuseries. That's not like, she's fucking crazy. Then she says, the dogs are using Ginger's recent visits as propaganda to show a united family despite the obvious cracks in the veneer. Ginger's too blind to see she's being used as a prop by her family. Like, that is disgusting. No, she's not. Then she says, they enlisted Joy as the videographer to capture and upload the propaganda. It's not fucking propaganda. You need help and you need to leave this family alone, Katie. Then she says, they also updated that Johanna and Jackson graduated. Oh, is that propaganda too? Because it's true. Then she says, Michelle made sure to sound as vague as possible about who her kids are and their personalities. She also used the post to promote the IBLP's Alert Academy. Do you think maybe they're not sharing as much because you are a trauma vulture and a fucking hawk that's circling them like prey every time they do post something and you read into it and your thoughts and your ideas are disgusting and maybe they just don't want your mouth in it? How about that? Then she says, Jed and Katie's Israel trip was promoted. What? Joy's videos were promoted and Jeremiah and Hannah's videos were promoted. She needs some fucking help. And she says, Jim Bob uses his kids to make content, which he now shares on his website. Nothing has changed. This is why consuming their content helps no one but Jim Bob. I hope this docuseries will help people wake. Then this idiot says, do they actually have diplomas? Yes, they do have diplomas. Brown College is a college and they have graduated. Yes. So people like with KJ saying that they're fucking stupid um, because they're homeschooled. Your son's homeschooled, motherfucker. So I think you need to shut it. This is two days ago. This is all, I'm telling you, she's been manic all fucking day, okay? 20 hours ago, she says, po takes a screenshot of her TV. Then she says, it says, lasting answers are offered for resolving family conflicts. Mel says, how'd that work for you, Jim Bob? She's like, now watching shiny, happy people dug her family secrets. Okay. That was 20 hours ago. This is 18 hours ago. Shame on you, Amazon. Jim Holt is an abuser. She writes. Olivia Chris told me on a phone call, we don't paint Jim Holt as the best historian. He's not painted as honest. When I confronted her about Jim Holt's abuse of his children, because you're disgusting about it. You literally think you know everything. You think you own the Duggars. You think you own the IBLP. You think you're the only person that knows about this shit and you fucking don't. You're a liar. You're a shit disturber and a shit stir. That's why no one wants anything to do with you. 
Then she says, do not be fooled. Jim Holt is an abusive monster. He's a liar. He lies and he abuses wife and children. I hope you got proof, asshole, because you are going to get sued again. He's already called you a liar. Let's so keep going. Then she says, they aren't good witnesses. Jill would have testified, but Bobby couldn't help herself to insert herself. Jim couldn't help himself. They were out for vengeance and nothing else, period. Bobby may be a victim of Jim, but she's a monster. You're sick is what you are. Listen to this shit. Neither of them helped those kids and they married their daughter to a pedophile. Amazon tried to take my channel down for commenting on the series and claimed I took their content because you did. Then she says, I've investigated the cult for five years. Yeah, okay. Yet you're the one saying, um, I take down cults. What was you, what the hell did she say? I'm a Minnesota mother taking cults down one at a time. You have not taken down one. You have not helped anyone. You're the fucking monster. Then she says, <clears throat> when your producers contacted me, they knew nothing about the IBLP. Okay, mouth. I handed you Derek Dillard. For this series, I warned you about Jim Holt. You dumped me because Jim Holt told you that I was a liar. I told you Holt was an abuser. Well, I'm sorry. I'm more to believe Jim Holt over your ass any day. Then she says, I'm done. These are my opinions and thoughts. Freedom of speech. She's saying that because she knows that she will get a cease and desist. She'll be told to shut the fuck up. I'm telling you. Oh my God. Here's another one. This one was what? 17 hours ago. DMCA team, Amazon still believes that the content infringes on our copyrights. The video is from an unreleased title, meaning it is not currently available to the public. The entirety of the video shown is copyrighted and directly impacting marketing for the series, as well as both above and below with the line business concerns. There is not applicable exception to the DMCA, as again, this asset is not in the public domain. And even if it were, such exception are not applicable in this case, as the infringing content is merely a reproduction of the content owned by Amazon. So she says, shame on you, Amazon. Yeah, okay. You're a fucking thief. You did it to Suzanne. You've done it to many other people. All these people that go to her uh, who think she's helping, tell their stories and she uses them as her own. She is a plagiarizer. We all know that. We've all seen that. She is. And she's like, Bill or Ben Miller, you don't own the IBLTP story. I don't, didn't reproduce your content. I've covered this cult for five years. Yeah, you have. You have either misguided people, stolen information, actually made up information. A hundred times you have. This is who you are. This is why no one wants to work with you. Then she says, you don't own that IBLP story. Your behavior is why the victims of Gother didn't participate in your series. Again, you don't know that and you're fucking reaching. You need to be knocked off that high horse and I hope to God you fall on the biggest piece of shit ever. Then she says, you tried to take my channel down <laughs> over my own research and commenting on your series. Wow. You could have had me for your series. You knew nothing about the IBLP when I spoke to you. I warned you about Jim Holt. That's not true at all. She's so full of shit. And she says, you picked sources that had platforms. Victims of Gother didn't want anything to do with you for a reason. That's not true at all. Then she's, this person says, I'm two episodes in and I feel like it could be so much more in depth. I'll finish it tonight, but still feel like I know more based on following you. Blech, whatever. And another one 17 hours ago, literally like two seconds after she posted this one, she says, what is this? This is the, okay, this is the, it says Jim Bob and Michelle Duggar stated through their representative, Chad Gallagher, that they love each other, each of their children tremendously and always desire each live their, oh, their God said in lives to the fullest. They otherwise declined to comment for this series. Mouse like Jim Bob still repped by Chad Gallagher. Who cares? Mind your business. And she says, no to all of you. This means that all the kids making content that is shared on the Duggar website are under Jim Bob's control. Again, that's not true. And she says, Gallagher is in charge of all content they publish. Not true. Jim Bob is still has authority. That includes Joy and Jessa. Not true. Sorry it offends you, but it's the truth. Wow. Nine hours ago. <laughs> totally absent from the docuseries. Like, you need... <sighs> I'm not even going to go there. Despite the Amazon claiming the Bates family would be explored in the new docuseries, Gil Bates named as a board member never comes up, but they were in the docuseries. So I don't know what the fuck you're on about. Gil Bates was a board member that helped lead a sham investigation into claims of sexual abuse and harassment against Bill Gothard. He was named as a defendant in the lawsuits against the IBLP as helping to cover up Bill Gothard's essay. Gil Bates is one of the four men that runs the IBLP today. Tim blah, blah, blah is the president. Bobby Holt inserted that Jim Bob Duggar was set to take over the LBP. 
<laughs> that is false. Oh, because you know them so well, right? Because they tell you stuff and you have a source. No, you don't. Jim Bob does have a lot of money and influence with the organization, but he's not a board member staff, nor does he hold any position with the company. Again, you don't know that at all. He is never set to be Gothard's replacement. <coughs> Excuse me. There was so much that wasn't discussed about the IBLP. Gil Bates was one of a group of men that enabled Gothard's abuse of young girls. His name should have been used, in my opinion. Keep going. And then this person says, maybe they will dwell deeper in a season two. I mean, Leah could go for years with what they constantly cover about Scientology. KJ didn't like that. She's like, you are assuming there will be a season two. Maybe there is. Again, you don't know that. And you won't be a part of it if there is. Oh, my God. This one's seven hours ago. So she posts this. Shiny, happy people. Duggar family secrets. Without a crystal ball thoughts on the docuseries. Why can't you just say my thoughts? Again, there's... You don't have a business. You have not paid it. <laughs> like, stop. The new docuseries about the Duggar Family Institute and Basic Life Principles is now available for streaming on Amazon Prime. I had the chance to watch the series in its entirety last night. Overall, the series does a decent job of explaining the IBLP and their role in the Duggar Family show. The show also uses survivors of the LBAP to narrate and share their stories of how the teachings played out in their homes. How much you want to make a bet she's trying to contact these survivors so she can fucking blast them so she could use their stories as her own so she could literally make fun of them and harm them in any way possible. Because I guarantee she has. Every survivor revealed horrific stories of physical abuse, essay, and spiritual abuse in, their, abuse in their homes. The Duggar family, in many ways, is not the focal point of the series. They are used as a way to illustrate the overall problems of abuse in the IBLP and the scope of abuse within homes. While there are many details about the Duggar family revealed in the series, there isn't too much that is new for people that have long followed the family. I disagree. And she's like, however, the docuseries verified and confirmed nearly all of the reporting without a crystal ball has done in the family. They're not using your bullshit. They're not talking about you. They didn't use anything they gave you. They fucking told you they're done. They don't want nothing to do with you because you are a known liar. And she says, Jim, Bob and Michelle's corporal punishment of the kids was not addressed by Jill and was mentioned by Amy. So what? Just because it doesn't go the way you want doesn't mean they're wrong, Katie. Then she says, other survivors explain how paddling of children extends into adulthood. What? One woman claims some men paddled their wives. Overall, the survivors of the IBLP were given their moment to share their stories. The docuseries used a number of survivors to, that have created platforms on social media to speak out. Jill Duggar did not address the abuse she experienced by Josh, and she maintained that it never should have been public. I agree. Why would she do that? Do you have any idea what she's going through? Do you have any idea what the other sisters are going through that he did that to? Not everybody sits there and talks about how you molest a child like you, you fucking sick fuck. She did take her dad to task to for, for forcing her to cover for her brother and minimize the abuse on Megan Kelly. I'm glad that Jill and Derek are writing a book because I do think that this will give more clarity to the story. They were featured a lot, but so many were others. Are you sure about that? Because you claim that you hate Jill because she's married to Derek. And there's a video out there. I've already showed it. Many others have showed it. So stop your fucking lying. Then she says, my biggest criticism is the producer's heavy reliance on Jim and Bobby Holt to be the storyteller of the abuse. That occurred at the Duggar home. The end of the series bothered me the most. Bobby stated the girls were forced to stuff down their feelings and couldn't show their pain. She also spoke to control in the Duggar home. But they have been accused of doing the same to their kids. Oh, you just, you make me fucking sick. Oh my God, there's more. Six hours ago. <laughs> Uh, a statement on recent media coverage. IBLP releases a statement on the new docuseries. The IBLP released a statement on the recent coverage of the group. Per usual, they are blaming the liberal media for slandering them. They also deny the allegations of abuse and say they aren't a church or a cult. I don't think they're a cult. They claim that tax will help them recruit more people because it will bring new people to their website. The LBIP... This is themselves from Gothard, but don't state that all of the teachings they use to this day are designed by Gothard. The statement is much more longer than the Duggars, but very similar. I'm sure Jim Bob, with his little keyboard warrior fingers, was tapping the leadership to put out something to protect their cult. Kind of like you do with your keyboard, keyboy warrior fingers and people that's like you have that you set out on people to attack people. The statement also distances themselves from the Duggars, but that's all for show. Don't be fooled. The Duggars' influence with this group is immense. Oh my God, there's another one. Five hours ago. Jesus Christ. She's fucking manic, man. Like, this is sick. Duggar TLC contracts. Exploita exploitation is in the contract. Oh my God. Like, shut the fuck up. Where is it? Supposedly says that. 
okay, down there. Number one, rights, ownership, and exploitation. Looks to me like they're explaining what they will and will not show. Anyways, Jill Duggar provided copies of her contract with her father's production company, TLC, for the new docuseries. Cropped images were features on the show. According to the contract, TLC makes sure the participants know that they can be exploited in any way they seem fit. Exploitation is even a bullet point. <laughs> Keep running your fucking sea sucker, man. Then she says, also, Michelle Duggar signed contracts for Jill Duggar for over three years, despite Jill being an adult. Jill turned 18 in 2009. Michelle signed documents for Jill as though she was a minor through at least 2012. <laughs> per the contract, anyone that is participant must make filing a priority over everything else. Therefore, participants must be available as needed, which makes employment outside the home nearly impossible. Jill and Derek were not paid and forced to return home from the mission field due to the contract. Oh my God, you do not know everything. Like, stop lying. Holy, f five hours ago again. Oh my God. So it looks like James Duggar posted this. It's okay to lose your pride over someone you love. Don't lose someone you love over your pride. That's a great statement. Of course, Mouse says, Dear James, it's not pride that enables someone to speak out against abuse and abusive system. That's not even what he's fucking talking about, Katie. And she's like, your father made choices and his pride, greed, and narcissism that caused so much of this. Just like your pride and greed and narcissism causes what the fuck you're doing to people, Katie. You're not innocent. You're a monster. And she says, but I get it. You're on daddy's payroll and under his authority. One day, all of us hope you wake up. Now, I want you to leave these people alone. Holy fuck. Three hours ago. Oh, my God. James, Jed, and Joy posted post-deflection content. They just had a baby, you fucking moron. In the docuseries, Jill and Derek revealed that in order to pay, to be paid a lump for their time on reality, to be paid a lump for their time on reality TV. So much for your journalistic skills, asshole. Jim Bob required his children to sign a lifetime contract with his production company. This means that adult kids, even without being on a show, believe they're still under contract with Jim Bob. Okay. According to Derek, the kids received the amount of minimum wage. I thought you said they weren't paid, though, asshole. Remember that? Yeah. Jill and Derek refused to sign the contract while the others went ahead to sign. Derek told me in 2020 that he believes many of the adult children may still be that they are under contract with Jim. Jim, Bob. Therefore, content that they post online may be at the direction of Jim Bob and for his production company. Again, you don't know this. The Douglas published the content of the adult children on their website as propaganda for profit. Again, stop fucking putting your nose in it. According to reports, Ginger and Jeremy negotiated their own contract with TLC for the final years, but I thought they couldn't do that because they were under Jim Bob's authority and that they weren't getting paid, Katie. Again, there's your lie uncovered again. Only two of the 19 children are not under lifetime con contracts with Jim Bob Duggar. Legal threats are also alleged <laughs> using the kids, says Derek. I don't even think he spelled his last name. Okay, never mind. So the next time you consume content by any of the Duggars other than Jill or Ginger, remember who controls the purse strings, but you just said only two people are under the contract, so none of the other people are, so what the hell? None of the kids will speak out against Jim Bob due to their belief that he cannot, they can, that he cannot and that they allegedly believe they have signed NDAs according to what Derek publicly stated. So yes, James' recent post is about Jill, not his dad. He's on JB's payroll. They all are, including Jess and Joy. You need to keep the hell out of this because you don't even make fucking sense. Oh, my God. Okay, this was six days ago. I don't know why that's there. Holy, four days ago. What is this one? <laughs> I'm in honor of the Fundies boycotting Target. Oh, my God. Anyway, so how many posts was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, my God. Nine posts today. Since that document came out, since that docuseries came out, you cannot tell me she's not manic. That is, wow. I don't even know where else she posted, probably on Facebook. I doubt Twitter because no one even follows her there. No one even likes her there. Anyways, okay, I'm done reading. <laughs> My throat's going to hurt again. Anyways, um, you guys let me know what you think. I think she's manic. She's up all night. She's not sleeping. Probably had way too much Adderall as usual and drinking her ass off. And she's been up for two days. How much you want to make a bet? Because I guarantee she watched the whole docuseries in one sitting. I can guarantee it. And has nothing but bullshit to say about it. Because she's butthurt because she wasn't involved in it. Because nobody wanted there because she's a liar. I'm glad she wasn't involved with it because I'm telling you right now, not a lot of people would have watched it. Not one, I know I wouldn't. I've talked to other creators. Not one of us would have watched it. Hell no, because it would all have been lies and bullshit. Anyways, you guys let me know what you think. Um, I hope you enjoy your day. We're going to have a nice thunderstorm here shortly, but 
Um, I'll be back tomorrow probably with more of her bullshit. Anyways, thanks for listening, guys. Have a great day. Bye.